this stuff is now super crazy slippery. We're still letting this guy defrost. He's not completely de-iced yet. Oh, I need a charger. And it's in the back of my truck. Alright, come on. Big money, no whammies. I highly doubt this thing is going to open. We're going to give it a shot anyways. Nope, not happening. It's alright guys. Remember, I'm Mr. Backups for Backups. Should have a charger. This one's empty. In here. The bottom of this thing. Ta-da! What's up guys? My name is Mark San Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog guys. We're kind of taking advantage of all this ice and snow. And I was about to take the kids sledding. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drive an RC car. And I realized I potentially have the best RC car ever for the snow. It's not here though, it's in the storage unit. So we're gonna go grab it and we're gonna go drive it today. And after I think about it, it's gonna be freaking epic. I'm super excited. If you don't know what it is, put a guess in the comments below. Oh man, I'm so excited. I know these roads might not be that treacherous to some of you guys because y'all live in these kind of conditions, but for us Texans, we don't know how to drive in this crap, so this is pretty crazy. Whoa, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Oh, I grabbed the wrong key. Why didn't y'all tell me I grabbed the wrong key? You saw I grabbed the wrong key. It's this key. It says storage on it. First world problems, guys. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh my God. Why is my uh, OGO getting bent over here? This guy right here. Bam. The summit. So someone told me the UDR is really fun in the snow, but I don't think that it would be fun to clean the UDR uh, after it's done. And uh, yeah, it might be kind of cool, but I feel like this is actually what it's made for. It's like made for this kind of stuff. So we're gonna take it home. We gotta plug the holes in the tires and then we're gonna take it out. Riding on ice and snow. Oh man, I'm so excited. Finally, I get to use this thing what it, for what it's intended for. Oh man. All right guys, we're out here at my high speed off-road testing facility. That's what it is, where that big hill is where we do a lot of our driving. Uh, we do have these summit out here. I did plug the tires. Uh, basically there are two vent holes on each side of the wheel, inside wheel. So I did plug them. There you come somebody, I don't want to get in their way. So hopefully water doesn't get in the tires because I feel like if water got in the tires on the summit, it would completely ruin it. But it should be a lot of fun. There it is right there. We're just gonna drive this thing, see what it's all about. All right, I got my thumb steer, steer wheel. Got my car ready, we got people sledding out there. We got a car behind me that's trying to get unstuck from the snow. And I'm gonna try not to flip over here, not flip over, but slip. So the reason why I think this car is so awesome in the snow or why it would be so awesome in the snow is because it's light. It's got gigantic tires. Look at it, it's not even freaking skidding out. Oh, we're about to just crush this thing right here. Yep, there's how that works. <laughs> what if I broke the arm on my first time out? And also it has locking diffs, so I don't have the diff, diffs lock right now. They're free spinning diffs. And that's better to drive whenever you're trying to go fast. Oh, I'm expecting it to be like Revo or Supermax speed. It is not. But look at it, it just soaks everything up. Oh God. It looks super freaking cool. 
we're gonna go up to this hill see if we can climb this hill with this with the summit my hands guys are frozen like crazy oh man there goes the kid that just fell off that might be my kids no maybe not all right look at all these people out here let's go drive this we'll, we'll actually go drive it in my spot we won't go and bother people over here yeah we will who am i kidding all right we're gonna go up to the side over here and try to go up this hill we got to go around all the sledders though because they are coming down this hill pretty hot i haven't had a need to lock the diffs yet which is cool oh there she goes this is bone stock stock servos and everything oh it's not even picking up any snow which is freaking awesome just soaks everything up very nimble on the snow because it's light i do think this is like the perfect snow car we're gonna see if we can climb this hill which i'm gonna go and say it i highly doubt it but we're gonna give it a shot anyways why aren't people going down the soup look this is like a not so steep hill i'd be ripping this hill right here all right here we go we're gonna go up this hill i'm gonna go ahead and lock uh oh there goes evan and ethan <laughs> All right, we're gonna go unlock the disc, see if we can make it up. Oh my God, they're flying. I don't think it can do it. It's just too much ice. Oh my God, it's gonna do it. Look at it, freaking, oh no. We might need some speed. Oh dang, it made it. So on the other side of that hill is a gigantic pond. I don't want, I definitely don't want to do that. Let me go to the top and watch it from the top. Oh man, this thing is a freaking beast. Let's see if we can do it without the diffs locked. I just used the camera to unlock the diffs. All right, diffs are unlocked now. Oh, I can do it without the diffs locked too. You don't even need the diffs locked. Oh God, that is so freaking awesome. Uh, we got a problem guys. That blinking red is not good and it's not moving. Dang it. I gotta get more batteries. I got them in my truck, we're good. Uh, all right guys, we are back home. Sorry, I had to stop recording. My hands were freaking frozen. My camera was getting super cold. I started having battery problems. It was time to just stop. So <laughs> I ended up just focusing on driving and having a good time. And now, now we're at home. But I'll give you a full run through on my complete experience and what I think about the summit in the snow. To summarize everything, I do think it's the best car in the snow. Between the tires being super big and wide, the car being light and nimble, the super high ground clearance, it's freaking awesome. I did think that the diffs were gonna help. Um, the locking diffs did not help. Honestly, I didn't see a difference between when my diffs were locked and, lo and unlocked. I thought I could do better donuts with the diffs locked. Not really the case. I think because it's so slippery out there, no matter what, you're gonna break traction. It didn't really matter, but man, I had so much fun. I even let Melissa drive it. She had a blast driving it. It was, it's just so controllable, plush. It's just a dream to drive in the snow. A couple of other things I want to mention. I did run the two 7600 two cell batteries for a total of 4S on this car. I didn't run out of battery once. I We literally drove for maybe 25, 30 minutes. Actually, probably more than 30 minutes. And I was like full pin the whole time never ran out of battery and it didn't overheat so on the stampede whenever i was driving it on 3s it did overheat this one did not overheat it was a tank it was basically ran all the way through the only problem i had was with my remote my battery went dead and then i had some connection problems i had to kind of play with the springs a little bit i think the springs were a little worn on the remote but that's nothing to do with the car that remote actually didn't even come with the car but yes it was freaking awesome i did get some cool slow-mo shots i think you've already seen it but the fact that it ran that long, two 7,600 milliamp batteries, you don't have to buy the really, really expensive three cell or four cell batteries, and it didn't overheat, nonstop fun. Oh man, big thumbs up for the summit in the snow. So the only complaint that I did have, which is kind of a complaint, kind of not, because I know when you change this, bad things happen, is it was kind of slow. So I felt like it could be a little bit faster However, as soon as you start putting a lot of speed and a lot of power, especially when it's that cold outside on an RC car, bad things happen, you start to break things. So maybe it was a perfect amount of speed, but sometimes when I was just kind of darting across the field, it was fun. Don't get me wrong, it was fun. 
I kind of was hoping that it would be like the Revo or <laughs> the Supermax where it's just blistering crazy fast. But at the same time, how fast can you go in the snow? So it's official, the Traxxas Summit, just like in the pictures, I'm pretty sure in the promo pictures they had a lot of pictures of it in the ice or in the snow, just as I thought. It is, to me, my favorite car to drive in the ice. It will be my go-to car from here on out. It's thawing out right now, I'm gonna blow it off, put a coat of WD-40 on it, get it all nice and clean looking again so it doesn't rust. But man, major thumbs up. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.